So here's what it looks like to do Reed Solomon encoding. You start with some message. In this case, let's just say our message is hello world. The first step is to create a polynomial that kind of matches that message. And what I mean by matches here is the, well, f of zero equals h, f of one equals e. I hope it's sort of clear what I did here. Just the numbers zero through nine are associated with the zeroth letter, first letter, second letter of your message. So this process, um, uh, I won't at this point go into the specifics of how we find that polynomial, but we find some polynomial of low degree that matches this. And then we just evaluate that polynomial on a larger domain. So here I've put in between all the integer values here, we could evaluate it at one half and one and a half and two and a half. And the point here is that these values in the second column here, what I've written as QWERTY U I O P, it's literally just the sort of top line of your keyboard. You don't really get to choose those. You, you have a message, the message forces a polynomial choice, and then the polynomial forces the evaluations on those other points. And at the end here, we get a code word. And if you look at the code word, you can see it's twice as long as our original code word. Every other letter here is actually the original message. Hello world appears as the first, third, fifth, seventh, ninth entry here. And the sort of redundancy that was added by evaluating on a larger domain is there in between. Questions about this process? So there's some choices that you could make along the way here. Um, I added one point in between every, like my larger domain is twice as large as my original domain. You could make it three times as large or four times as large. So there's a sort of choice here. But roughly speaking, this is the process. You start with a message. You form a polynomial based on that message. You evaluate on some larger domain. And now you have a code word. 